As soon as I've traded my goods, I'll bring those young men back. My crew plus They're all dead. They're all a hundred percent dead. Like you, you, they can't get more dead than they already are. And it hasn't even happened yet. They are already dead. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. We are once again here for some more Finlandian Saga. Previously on Vinland Saga, we were introduced to some more characters. Floki, there was a Sigvaldi, there was the Yams Vikings, and then there was Askelad, the Ass Kalad, Mr. Floki, the blonde mega Viking, brought the Yams Vikings to the little village, kind of threatened Thors to join the, uh, the fight, and with no choice, he had to accept and bring some of his, uh, some of the younger generation with him. What he doesn't know, however, is that he is going to be led into a trap set up by Mr. Floki himself. I believe he hired Mr. Askelad, 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 to ambush them and kill them. We also talked about how the younger generation is kind of dumb. They don't realize the severity of uh, their situation and uh, the severity and seriousness of war and killing people. And so they glorify warring and fighting and, you know, just in general, um, killing people. But I'm sure they're going to learn their lesson very quickly. Very, very quickly. I also predicted that most of them are going to die when they get ambushed. But, you know, I guess we'll see. I guess we shall see. Now, let us get right into episode 3 of Vinland Saga. Episode 3, Troll. There are no significant changes. Five pounds of gold as we agreed. But you won't get any of it unless it's in exchange for his corpse. I believe Thor is most considered the troll. ship along with the cargo. Just be sure that Thor's is dead. Yeah. Fucking little bitches. Betraying traitorous cunts. I've heard stories about him. He's a hero to your people, isn't he? You certain you want me to take his life? Desertion is a high crime in my country. We take it seriously. And his execution was ordered 15 years ago. I knew you guys were fond of playing by the rules. But after all the time that's passed? Is it worth the trouble? Now, don't get me wrong here. Our services are always available to you for the right price, so don't think I'm complaining. I'm only curious. You came here to hire me to execute one of your own men. Why not do it yourself? You paid him a visit in Iceland, didn't you? What stopped you from cutting his throat there? I would suggest that you stop asking questions for your sake. Fine. Have That's actually a very good question, honestly. Pounds of gold up front, and we'll take care of it for you. <laughs> you make that request so casually. How bold of you. My mistake. Apologies. Slipped right out of my hand. Another five pounds of gold in advance, and he's wiped out forever. Hmm. It's a deal. <laughs> he brings up a very good point, actually. Why, why do hire assassins? I assume he's an assassin or some sort of mercenary. So as a fighter, how would you describe him? How does Thor's look? What kind of warrior is he? That man isn't a warrior anymore. All right now. What a waste. We have some work to attend to, my brothers. And beyond, that was a hell of a throw. I do what I can. Even managed to catch Floki off guard. <laughs> I wish I could have seen that. Hmm. Maybe he isn't all tall. I know there's no need for you to say it. Of course, this journey will not be easy. Even I can't Shut the hell up, Aaron Yeager looking ass. Motherfucking looking ass. I swear 
I shall return. And when I do, I will have seized a beautiful necklace from the English to give to you. And then <sighs> it's too early like for this conversation. Get, um, we could get... That's right. They're leaving today. I just hope they don't get themselves killed. Ilva! Um, could I have a word? Jesus Christ, bro. Jesus Christ. I mean, I get it. I, I fully get it. You know, I 100% get it. But Jesus Christ. I suppose this happens when uh, you're you're a small town. And you won't forget to wash yourself every Saturday, right, dear? No, of course not, mother. On my ancestor's axe, I swear to bring back a barrel of gold. Lads do seem to be in high spirits. But with only five of them heading off, they won't have nearly enough men. Thor's himself said that five would be plenty. Hmm. Thor's would know. Leave it to him. Dude, before. these men are not even men. Okay, they're barely out of their goddamn typers. Ari. Huh? Um, I... Be careful. Uh, uh-huh. I'm not done with you. Why should that matter to me? Don't walk in front of me, all right? Excuse me, Nicholas. You worried about Ari? No need. He's gonna be okay. He's so dead. What? They're not really going to battle? Shh. Of course not. That's our secret. They think they are. We're going to stop in Norway on our way to Jomsborg. And when we get there, Thor's will leave on his own, so those young men come home safe. He plans on securing the help of some of the local sailors we meet. To crew his ship on the journey to Yamsborg instead. My crew plus They're all dead. They're all a hundred percent dead. Like you, they can't get more dead than they already are. And it hasn't even happened yet. They are already dead. They're all fucking dead. Maybe one of them might survive. Maybe one might survive. The 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 same guy that we just saw the the you know the guy who was trying to get with Ilva, right? Maybe he might survive. They might turn him into more of a, uh, like a bigger character. You know, they might have, uh, they might even have this storyline where, you know, he's into Ilva right now, right? But there's this other girl who's not as maybe good looking or whatever that kind of likes him. And then kind of like a Naruto, uh, you know, Sakura situation and Hinata, right? Where they, uh, you know, he, he likes Ilva first, but then over time, over the course of the story, you know, he starts getting with the, the other girl. Who knows? But, like, you know, if, if there's anybody out of that group of side characters that's going to survive, I think it's going to be that guy. That And that's, that's really, really pushing it, okay? Orphan. Right now, it's, I would say, maybe 90% sure... I'm 90% I'm sure that they're all going to die. Uh, but I guess we'll see. And this is, I believe, the last episode that uh, I have seen, that I saw years ago. So I assume by the end of this episode, the ambush is going to happen. Such a brat. That's funny. Why isn't he out here to see father off? Maybe he's still upset about the sport? Because he's fucking in the boat, hiding in a fucking Tell barrel you. or something. Yes? When Thorfinn does turn up, would you tell him that I... Um... Yes. Of course I will. You know, the, the only thing that I'm sad about right now is, is the fact that I don't know what's gonna happen around the the time of the ambush and I'm scared that you know all of them are gonna die and then Thorfinn somehow survives maybe gets taken captive or something I don't know and then we're not gonna see the sister Ilva for like the entire season like that that's my biggest fear right now I think Ilva is probably the best character in the show she just she looks good she has a great personality I think she would be a great main character so I'm just scared of never seeing her again. You know, it's it's one of those situations. Goddamn pussy ass bitches. Of course, I would be exactly, I would be one of those guys. But you know, still. 
pussy ass bitches. Wait, what's his name? Ari? I'm gonna write write down his name just in case. Are you tired? No. Not at all. Who called me father? Oh. I actually I didn't know they knew that he was there. I thought he came out once the fighting started during the ambush. But I, forget, I guess, again, as I said, I don't remember. <laughs> Something about this job feels off. Hmm? How so? Floki obscures things. There's something he's not telling us. There's no execution order on Thor's. He's clearly lying. It's an assassination. Maybe a personal grudge, because he came to this decision on his own. And what do we care? We're getting paid well to kill the man either way. Why not save himself the trouble and use his own men for this? Hmm. To try and keep his hands clean if one of them talked? <laughs> yes. That's probably part of it. But what if he's actually afraid of retaliation? Yeah, maybe critically, he couldn't explain it to his leader. Maybe maybe the men themselves wouldn't do it. Right? Like they the, I mean the men are very, you know, the y Yams or whatever the Yams Vikings, they're they're so like hardened. You know, they they're full of respect and shit. So maybe maybe they wouldn't they they wouldn't agree with killing Thor's or something. Maybe they would. I don't know. Yams Viking battalion. By one washed up warrior? That's absurd. I suspect the encounter will prove to be very entertaining. And deadly. It's so dark. I can't see anything, even the stars. How can we tell where we're headed? Thors! The wind's changed on us. A bit to the south. I'll take the lead. You just follow me. All right. Ari, don't stare into the night sea for too long, lest you wish to be pulled under. What's it like, fighting in a real battle? Well, I'm sure you'll find out soon. All over the place, right? Tell me some stories of your victories. I want to claim the head of an enemy general just like you. He's so dead. Man. He is so dead. <laughs> to prove yourself? Because you know my daughter has a preference for strong men. Attracting her will be difficult. Uh, uh, well, what can I say? Guess you see right through me. Do you like Ilva Ari? Yes, how could I not? She's beautiful. <laughs> you know, when she came into this world, I was still with the Yams Viking army. <laughs> She's noisy, isn't she? Tell me, does every baby cry as much as this one seems to? Please, Thor, sir, you really shouldn't hold her that way. It should be supported. We need a boy next, Helga. It's what the chieftain wants for us. Helga, my wife, was our leader's daughter. You have to give her a name. Call her whatever you like. I'm a little busy. No Jesus, man, this guy, uh... Yes, sir. The ship is leaving. Give her a name. In the last 15 years spent together, that's the only time Helga's ever been angry with me. I mean, for good reason. He was kind of a douchebag. Now that I think about it, that was when it started. I truly began to fear going into the field of battle. Well, yeah, when you have something, something to lose that you don't want to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was some sort of like, like crevice between like rocks or something, and then they get ambushed. This guy, this fucking kid, man. God. Between Iceland and Norway. 
Stopping to rest makes for an easier journey. This is where it happens, right? Now, come on, men! I wish we didn't have to do this. My ass hurts. Dude, that is so actually true. They're sitting on like straight up wood, right? Sucked. What is it? Something's off. What's wrong? I can't quite tell. But something's different from the last time I was out here. Yeah. The number of houses has changed. There aren't as many of them. Then we should turn back. Now, it doesn't feel right here. Strange. They're rowing back the other way. Damn, do they see us? <laughs> Not bad. Careful as they are, they may prove to be a challenge. They're close, but it can't be helped. Don't worry about damaging the ships. Do it, now! Ambush! So, they broke down some of the houses and used them as, uh, as like, trap material. That is a lot of wood, bro. It works like a charm. They have them trapped like That's a lot of wood. Soldiers, lads, anyone hurt? Men, you all right? Now have archers. Use your shields for cover. <laughs> Leif, how's the damage? We're all fine. They didn't hurt us or the ship. Yeah, but like, how do you get out of this? They're coming. We're about to meet our captors, so prepare yourselves. Wait, those are pirates. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> These came from the missing houses. We've been completely sealed in. Now they've got us. Hey, if we surrender, do you think they'll spare us? Why would you think that? They'll show us no mercy. If they take us alive, they'll sell us as slaves. Brace yourselves. Actually, if you think about it, you can actually figure out that they're not pirates that are, that are just going to rob you. They're most likely here specifically to kill you. The reason you can figure this out is because, well, one, the trap that they used completely blocked off the access to this, uh, this fjord or whatever the fuck, you know, this, this little, this little between the rocks path is called, right? This, this, whatever the fuck, um, you know, this, this, like, if this is like a path to this vi little village, they completely blocked off that path. And I don't think they're going to spend a bunch of time trying to open the path up again, right? Which means they completely, they, they straight up just completely blocked off the path. Which means this is not some sort of like regular area where they're robbing ships that pass by. And also, if they were just waiting here, they must have known that a ship or multiple ships would be coming through here sometime soon. Which means they not only blocked off the path basically permanently, but also they were just waiting for them. They had prepared the trap way ahead of time. If you didn't know that the, that a ship was coming, you wouldn't just go to this place and just wait. You know, set up this trap and just wait randomly. Which means you can kind of assume that they were waiting for them, that these pirates were waiting for them, and now that they blocked off the path basically semi-permanently, that means that they have no intention of staying here to ambush more ships. Which means that they were there probably specifically for them, right? Which means, well, unlikely that they're going to rob you, more like kill you. There's nothing we can't handle. There are only two ships. Put it away. Oh, yeah. These men are warriors. They're not farmers who are moonlighting as pirates for the fun of it. You don't stand a chance against them. Thorfinn. 
Use this only to protect yourself. Understand? Only as a last resort. <laughs> so, we're gonna kill them then. I'm right behind you. Let's kill them right now. Don't use that word so lightly. <laughs> uh, do you know what that mushroom is, Bjorn? Hey, Ashkelon! Hmm? You mind if I take care of this one for you? Because it'd be over much too quickly if we all went at them at once. And I'd like to get the measure of the troll of young. What do you say? Be my guest. He seems to be just as eager as you. Huh? Okay, there's some... <laughs> let me be... Let me be honest here, okay? Yeah, let me have to be honest here, okay? No bullshit, right? There's no shot. He just jumped like 10 meters, bro. Oh. Come from. You're not welcome on this ship, you bastard! My brother! Oh, this one's good. He's not killing them. Oh, it ended there. That's interesting. Maybe I did watch episode four. I I seem to remember him like getting stabbed or something. I, maybe maybe I'm hallucinating or something. Maybe I'm confusing it with something else. Maybe I did watch episode four. I don't know. Regardless, they got ambushed. I also think that uh, most likely it's probably gonna be a situation where he would actually win the fight. Um, but he. The, the other people in the ship, you know, uh, Thorfinn and, and the other teenagers uh, are going to be a burden where he, he needs to go and protect them and then he gets stabbed or something or gets killed. But uh, otherwise he would win the fight. He uh, He's definitely limiting himself, uh, not killing them. I think the main thing here is that um, I don't even see what his idea is with uh, going and jumping on the ship and starting to beat them up. Because like he said, like he himself said, they have archers. Like, I mean, I, I guess he did say, oh, use your shields, right? But like, I mean, can he really take both of the ships by himself? If the fucking teenagers, you know, young, enthusiastic little shits survive, I'd be surprised. Otherwise, well... We also saw that Thor was definitely uh, mellowed out in his later years, I would say. He was definitely a massive douchebag, apparently. I mean, I get it, you know, like back in those days, you know, back in back in those ages. It was all about like getting a, getting a heir and, and apparently, uh, what's her name? The mother uh, Helga was uh, the daughter of the, the leader or, you know, the chief or whatever the fuck. But yeah, I mean, do I actually think that they're going to survive? Probably not. I mean, Thor is, I'm pretty sure, dies here. I'm pretty sure. I mean, maybe, I guess I have seen episode 4 as well. I, I don't... I seem, I, I remember this happened, but... I, I could have sworn I remember that Thor has died. Or got stabbed or something, right? Like, I... I I don't know. As for what happens after that, it's anybody's guess. I the thing is here, I I literally have no idea what the story is even about. Of like what the story of the show is even about. I would imagine it's maybe maybe Thor's dies to this Askeladd guy, and then uh, you know Thorfinn maybe tries to get revenge on him or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. All I can say is that I hope that uh, I hope that Ilva doesn't become a completely forgotten character, because straight up, I, I I just I don't know. She's in my opinion, she's she's just the 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 better protagonist, right? She's she's the perfect character to be a protagonist. I feel like I know I keep saying that, but like I just that's just how I feel. I guess next episode we'll see what happens with this. Uh, this ambush. I'm starting to think that I did see maybe episode 4 as well. 
because like I I could swear I saw Thor's like get stabbed or something. Like I remember something bad happened, but uh, again, I don't remember. I guess we'll see next episode. Until then, I shall bid you adieu, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>